what's up with Christmas week? Like, even people we know who don't even celebrate Christmas are just drowning in chaos. That's just absolute madness. This one. Mermaid. Hi. Oh yeah. These guys kiss. This is like the equivalent of Kendall, but we don't have a Kendall. And I think I just sat on their bed where they were having a snuggle together. Nice guys, I'll leave you to it. Our garden is losing its shizzle. It's so excited by all this sun. Our sunflowers are coming through. I actually had to prune the bejesus out of our tomatoes because they were just turning into this jungle of leaf and there wasn't really much tomato action happening. So I went pretty hard out with the snippy doo Some people don't agree that that's a good thing to do, but I'm just like, I'm giving it a bash. And I got a bit carried away. Our courgettes, we probably had like 20 courgettes already and every day we're just snipping off new courgettes. So this time of year must be like one of the busiest times ever for the garden. Everything, you know, is just going off the hook. I've been thinking a little bit about how with the busyness of the garden, you do these things so that you don't kind of like lose yourself or get overwhelmed. So like you have a hose set on a timer so that you can just go out there and flick it on. Do a little bit of weeding here and there in the cooler hours of the day and all that kind of thing. So you have these sort of rituals that stop you kind of drowning in the madness of the garden. And how much do we need the same thing in the madness of this season in our family life? We need these little rituals to keep us connected, keep our hearts full and keep our intentions in the right place and not just getting overwhelmed by chaos. So thinking about all of that, there's one thing that I want to just share with you. As a parent, one of the things that has helped me stay true to my ideal as a kind of respectful, gentle, peace-loving, empathetic parent. How's that for a brand name? Otherwise known as a parent ally. That's really how I see myself as being an ally to my children. I really feel that every kid needs an ally in this world. It's hard for them to navigate all the arbitrary random rules of society. They often have their rights kind of oppressed, you know, like we just shame children so often as a matter of course over food, sleep, their bodies, their urges, the way they're developing. I don't know, it can be pretty treacherous being a kid, I think. And I like to believe that every kid can be born into a family where they have allies in their parents. One of the concepts that I hold really dear actually comes from Gordon Newfield and Gabor Mate, I think that's how you say his name. They're great on YouTube if you wanna delve further into this. But they have this concept that is in um, their book hold on to your kids, that's what it's called. It's a really thought-provoking book. And this idea really resonated with me and it's all about collecting your kids. So they even have a little phrase, collect before you direct. <laughs> and the idea is that you take some time to just meet your kid exactly where they're at after sort of significant periods of time away. And by away, that even includes when they're sleeping in their bed or when they're just totally immersed into a really deep a game or imaginative thing or, you know, an activity that doesn't involve you. It definitely means when they're out off playing with their friends or when they're having sleepovers with relatives or when they're having crazy festive times with their cousins. Just at certain times, you kind of check in with them and you are delighted to see them. You might even say, I'm so happy to see your face. And you 
I connect with what it is they're doing, you maybe take some time playing the game with them or observing it or just enjoying their enjoyment of it. You ask them some questions, you see if they felt safe, if they're feeling really comfortable. You just like have this little heart to heart moment. It might just be a matter of a few minutes, it might involve a little cuddle. You are their kind of safe place, you are their security where they know they can always return to this little comfort zone of mama or papa or caregiver. They can always return to you and know that they can check in, fill up their emotional cups, get a little bit of love, get a little bit of validating. It's going to be a shame-free zone when they're with you, even just for a few moments. They're going to feel completely loved and completely delighted in. So yeah, that's the idea of collecting. And the collect and direct thing is if you say want your kid to kind of move on to something, it might perhaps be a meal time and you're really feeling like they haven't eaten for quite some time. You've prepared this beautiful meal that they're going to love. Uh, it's not going to work just being like, kids, dinner! Does that ever work for you? Doesn't really work. It might work for some really hungry kids maybe sometimes, but my kids and quite a lot of kids out there would really probably warm quite well to this idea of the parent coming in, sitting with them while they're watching their program or playing their game, just kind of tapping in with them, connecting, and then inviting them to come and have dinner. It just works so much more well because you're showing solidarity with their passions, their hobbies, what they're involved in, rather than just being like, right, my agenda now, it's tea time. I find this ritual of collecting really useful when things are kind of just bonkers. So the busyness of Christmas Day, just holiday season in general, rushing from one thing to another, holding this idea close to your heart that you are there to collect your children at key points through the day just really helps your relationship. It keeps both of your cups full right up. And I invite you to have fun with this ritual over the coming festive season. We've only got 10 days until masses of families turn up on our farm for a big kind of homeschooling camp or unschooling camp. We're super excited about that. Maybe that's even overshadowing like Christmas a little bit. You might remember our caravan mission too. So Tim's working on that cute little thing, ready to sleep in in 10 days. Wherever you are in the world, peace and love to you, however you're celebrating over the next few days. And of course, remember 100% to keep radical. Yeah!